Bram, miserable wretch that you are. If you do not help me this time to find the Scarabaeus I need to complete the periaptic circle of total power, your punishment will be terrible. I am your slave, O Bello. We must once more seek out this ridiculous fool, this Laszlo, who wears the bracelet that alone can lead me to the Scarabaeus. Somewhere in Delta time. small beers and great gods you think you'll be doing? Laszlo? 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 Wait, yes. I am he. Yet I am also Hugh Llewellyn of Llanethly, man of the cloth and much closeness to the Almighty, <laughs> which is just as well considering our whereabouts. And uh, where are our whereabouts? Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't rightly know. <laughs> Yeah, somewhere in the middle of Peru, I'm thinking. Seven years I've been wandering these heathen parts. <laughs> I've been lost for most of that time. As though we're in a desperate situation. What? Look at your right hand. Oh, 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 heaven help us. The Spanish plague. Worse. Far worse. Unless we get out of this time track by finding the Scarabaeus, we're doomed. Of course, the Scarabaeus that fits on the bracelet. <laughs> well, I'm pretty certain it's hidden somewhere in the Inca's gourd. If only we can find it. So it is here. There is much gold here. Literally mountains of gold. The Incas have wisely hidden it from the Spaniards. But I mean to locate it for myself and return to Clanetli a rich man. A servant of God in search of wealth, Llewellyn. Dirt or gold, the good Lord made them both, and he gave man a free will, John Bach. Phil. Phil Bach. So why have the one when t'other makes you rich? That's what I say. Hmm? Well? Well, uh, now, just look at you. I mean, look at your shoddy clothes. A suit of fine gold might be a more profitable investment, don't you think? Oh, no, Laszlo. Not this time. You know your magic is always going wrong. Uh -huh. Scarabium Smotoramus Magnificat! <laughs> Oh, dear. Wrong again, eh? Ethnic rags instead of gold. It's not bad, though. Ah, but it's not good, you see. No, another magical mistake. Look, now, you'd better look after this for me. Why? Well, for one thing, it won't look so out of place on you, and for another, you may have more success in finding the Scarabaeus. <laughs> So the Spaniards approach. See to them, Bram. <laughs> Don Felipe, Don Rodriguez, you are welcome. Princess Lakiki, your flattery tires us. We have waited in this place for almost three weeks on your promise of treasure. 
The gold of Machu Picchu will be yours by morning. It is the time of the sun, and the great sacrifice will take place at dawn. At last. Pizarro awaits us in the south and grows impatient. You will return to him laden with riches. Of this, I assure you. And your interest in this matter, princess? I simply need to find one small article from amongst the treasure. But for this, I shall need the protection of your soldiers during the ceremony. It is agreed upon. This ceremony of the sun, please explain its importance. For one day a year, and for one day only, the sun shines directly into the temple of Machu Picchu. And upon that day, we make a sacrifice to our great god of the sun. And upon that day, the great treasure is brought forth from its secret hiding place. Such wealth as you have never seen. It is laid out upon the blood-stained altar so that the sun may bless it with its brilliant rays and make it glitter for another year. Gold kissed by gold. And that moment shall be when we take it. That moment shall be when you take it. We should go immediately to the temple and make our plans for the ceremony. Most certainly, good lords. Bram will show you the way. Mm. Oh, dark sun. Dark son of Atahualpa, forgive me for looking upon your face. We are close. Stand up, young girl. Come up on your feet. It is forbidden to look upon the face of a prince. Oh, I'm no prince. Oh, indeed you are, O Dark One. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, indeed you are. So come, bid the young maiden stand up in front of your royal personage. Rise. And tell me your name. Your name, young girl, come, come, what is your name? I am Chiquita, child of Matacapi, a maiden of the Daughters of the Sun. And you recognize your prince? Yes, although I've never seen him before. Then how can you be sure? Atahualpa had two sons. The eldest was slain with him, but the dark son escaped. He still visits his people in secret. Besides, this prince wears a royal bracelet of the only Inca. This? The great clasp of that bracelet has always been kept here as part of the treasure of Machu Picchu. Can he lead us to it? Alas, no. Your prince demands it. I'm not permitted to know where the treasure is concealed. It is only brought forth for the great ceremony. And when is that? Tomorrow, at dawn. So, we meet once more. Oh, dear. Fancy meeting you again. <laughs> Behind you, my Iberian mates. Over here, my friends. They know you, so it seems. They don't seem to like you. Why? Something to do with some gunpowder they saw them last year. Move. Move. <laughs> So much blast for me, sir. <laughs> Come on, Phil, fly. <laughs> Speak of a priest. Sorcery cannot save you. Oh, there's clever. There's oh yes. It's mine. Mine. No, I show them all. <laughs> Later, please. Later. Oh, don't leave the girl. Very well. Oh, who were your friends? Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't exactly call them friends. On account of the gunpowder. I wouldn't exactly call it gunpowder. It was more like seven barrels of earth with gunpowder on the top. <laughs> Made a 21 gun salute seem like a belch. Well, you and your cheap tricks. Perhaps you can think of another one to get us down from here. Of course, no problem. Uh, leave it to me. We'll just uh, fly down. Uh, now concentrate with me. Oh dear, wrong again. <laughs> Great. I think I'll climb down. It's bound to be quicker. 
What kept you? Laszlo, it's gone. The bracelet. What is this? We found intruders in the temple. One of them was a swindling knave in the guise of a priest. Priest? And this. Ah. Well, child, who were those intruders? Speak, or I shall have to punish you. You have not the right. Right? I have not the right. You are a false priestess. My father is a true priest of the Temple of the Eye of the Sun. What have you done with him? He is alive. Where is he? In my keeping, as you and the other daughters of the Sun are. You have betrayed us to the Spanish. Silence! were those intruders. One of them was a dark son of Atta Haulta. A dark son, and we left him there alive. I thought he was slain. Where did you leave him? In the temple. If the dark son is alive, he is vital to our ceremony. We must go to him immediately. He cannot escape. The doors are bolted. <sighs> Come, my friends. Ah. Rich, hold her prisoner till I return. <laughs> ah, magic! Magic! I can do it! Magic, see? <laughs> Or a bellows must have found the bracelet. He'll take it straight away to her. Now, why did we ever come here? To find the Scarabaeus. And time's running out. Look! Ah! Now get yourself together, oh. Laszlo. Use your magic and get us out of here before Bello finds all right, us. All right, all right. Just leave it to me. We must be gone. Look into my eyes. See only my eyes. Oh, thank heavens, widow. I... What? What is that? I don't know. But I wish I'd brought a bag of buns with me. Look at the size of that one. Come on, no, no. Come on, Phil, this way. of teleportation. What was that thing that attacked us? I don't know. It must have been one of Bellow's botanical friends. Ooh. She's bound up the bracelet by now. Can't you stop her using it? Well, there is a way. A psychic barrier created by concentration. Can you do that without the bracelet? What's the point? We're lost. I mean, the Spaniards have recognised me and Bellow's got all the power. And we're turning green. Now, what do you want to do? Just sit here and become a blob of slime? All right, don't go on, don't go on. Just leave it to me. I'll, I'll think of something, but you'll have to help me. Hmm? Now, look into my eyes. Look, look. Look into my eyes. What do you see? Eyeballs. No, not eyeballs. I am creating a barrier between Bello and the bracelet. Now concentrate. Look into my eyes. See only what I am doing. Be mine, be mine through time. Tell me. Tell me your mystery of I power. Deny you. I be deny mine. you. Be mine. I deny you. Be mine. I deny you. I deny you. Laszlo, you're slipping away. I know, it's all this denying. I'm tired out. Concentrate. I... You've got to concentrate. <clears throat> Thank you. 
What's the matter with it? It worked before, stupid, stupid Ram. thing. Ram! Oh, she mustn't know I've got it. It's only works when he's here. eyes of yours, in fact. Do not look at me at all! Ah, Don Rodriguez. I see you have returned our errant daughter of the sun. She was attacked by a strange plant. She is very important to our arrangements, Don Rodriguez. How so? She is to be the chosen maiden at the ceremony of the sun. No! What? No! You know it is a great honor to be the chosen one. You mean... She is to be sacrificed. According to our ancient law. You are barbarians. Our agreement concerns gold, Don Rodriguez, not your feeble emotions. Now, if you will excuse us, we must make the preparation for the ceremony. Who are you? And how do you come to be here? We are travelers in time and space. And who, may I ask, are you? I am Matakapi, keeper of the Temple of Machu Picchu. That is until that usurper, Princess Lakiki, made me her prisoner. Lakiki? A false princess who betrayed us to the Spaniards by the use of her wicked magic. Bello. You are Chiquita's father? Yes, you have seen her? Yes, in the temple. But surely you are he. Who? The Dark Sun. For now, it is impossible he was murdered with his father. You know this for sure? Yes, I am certain. He was put to the sword. But rumors have persisted that he lives on in the mountains with the spirits of his father and his brother. Uh, but, Chiquita, tell me of my child. She is held prisoner by the Princess Lakiki. Oh. Then she is the chosen one. Chosen for what? Tomorrow is the great ceremony of the sun. She has been chosen for sacrifice by Lakiki. It is all my fault. I would not surrender the treasure. Where is this treasure? You seek it too? Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it makes no difference. There is no escape from here. Well, I, I see no bolts or bars. If only we could get across the deep gully of death. How? Your resemblance to the dark sun is uncanny. If we could get to the temple before the ceremony, I am sure that Lakiki would bow to your authority. Not if I know Bello. She'll blast you through the side of the mountain. That's worth a try. How do you cross the gully of death? Alas, only the ways of magic can make that possible. Well, then there's no problem. Just uh, leave it to me. Without the bracelet? The bracelet, not the bracelet of the dark sun. Yes, well, Chiquita thought it was. And she told us that the matching clasp was kept with the treasure. Mm, that is true. It is presented to the dark sun after the sacrifice. You see, Laszlo? Well, that should frustrate Bello. Come, let us return to the temple. Come. Wait! I have the ceremonial robes here. We must dress him first. Wait! How are we going to cross the gully of death? By desperation, son. Sheer desperation. That. Then we shall walk. There is a rope bridge for those who can't see. All I can see is a bottomless pit. Don't look down then. Put your hand on my shoulder and follow me. But above all, have faith. Faith? Faith in what? Well, faith in the rope bridge. What do you think? Oh, powers that be, let me get it right this time. Scar of him, Golfus Maximus, 
God drop us in it. to us to pay your debts or steal our gold i wonder now i have you hold your sword spaniard if you want to see the gold of machu picchu you know where the gold is hidden old man i alone know of its secret hiding place then show us before you suffer the same fate as atahualpa the treasure is yours in return for the life of my daughter. Agreed. Agreed, but hurry! Don't be foolish, Matakapi. They'll agree to anything until they've got the gold, and then... I have no choice. Matakapi, and you have saved me the trouble of finding the gold, Mountebank. You have finally led me to the Scarabaeus. Now is my moment of glory. Now the power is mine. Witchcraft. Spare us, Princess. You may still have your choice of the treasure. And back. And now, most illustrious dark son of the Inca people, born again. We shall proceed with the ceremony. And you, Matakapi, will, as ancient law decrees, present the dark sun with the key of life after the sacrifice. Spare her, princess. You have the gold. Spare her. And then the dark sun will present the key to me. No, you will not have a life. The lever. There! Pull it! Pull it down! Let the sun shine into the temple! Not so fast, witch! Get that light away from me! I cannot bear the light of the sun! denied it to herself and to me. She had the bracelet. She could have found the key, but she moved them on. Now, why? Why? Dark son, you must flee. It is the Spanish soldiers. They will kill you. Chiquita, I am not the dark son of Atahualpa. This I do not understand. But this is yours, my lord. You must take it with you. Now I understand. She never had the bracelet. She never had the power to find the scarabius. Please go. Go. What about you and your father? The mountain is our home. The Spaniards will never find us. Go! Uh -huh. 